This video is a collection of reports that are too short to warrant their own video. 27-year-old Essex Police Constable Murray Weir has appeared in court accused of sending sexually explicit messages and pictures to people he believed were children and who identified themselves as being under 16. Weir, who is suspended but still classed as serving with Essex Police, is said to have communicated with a series of people who identified themselves as being under 16 at least 23 times over a six-month period between January 1st and June 30th, 2018. The messages, which are said to amount to around 350 pages, allegedly included sexually explicit photographs. This piece of shit appeared at Westminster Magistrates Court on Friday the 25th of February, where he confirmed his name, date of birth and gave his address as a camping and caravan site in Lingfield in Surrey and gave a not guilty plea to a single charge of attempting to engage in sexual communication with a child. I'm thinking there should be more charges as it surely would be one charge per child. But this is what's being reported. Deputy Chief Magistrate Tan Ikram granted Weir bail ahead of his next appearance at Croydon Nightingale Court on March the 25th. A former Northamptonshire police officer was due to appear in court this week charged with corruption. Oliver Binns, who has since resigned from the force, has appeared before Northampton Magistrates Court on Friday, March the 4th, following a directed independent office for police conduct investigation into his alleged abuse of police powers and privileges. The force referred the case to the IOPC in January 2021. Superintendent Natalie Wignall, head of uh, the force's professional standards department, said our counter-corruption unit carried out an IOPC directed investigation following allegations that the officer had made inappropriate contact with a woman following her release from custody in 2020. This led to the Crown Prosecution Service authorising that he be charged with corrupt and improper exercise of police powers and privileges by a constable, contrary to the Criminal Justice and Courts Act 2015. Northamptonshire Police have also instigated internal misconduct proceedings that will be progressed upon conclusion of the wider criminal proceedings against him. The force will be making no further comment at this stage. I've not yet heard of the outcome of the court case, but I will bring that to you just as soon as I get it. A police officer has appeared in court to admit possessing indecent images of children. PC Alan Dudzinski of West Yorkshire Police's Leeds District was suspended from duty after being arrested in May. He appeared at Leeds Magistrates Court where he pleaded guilty to charges of making indecent images of children and possession of extreme pornography. The 20-year-old was given unconditional bail and is due to appear at Leeds Crown Court on the 22nd of March. A former police constable accused of passing information to two members of the public has appeared in court on a misconduct charge. Kate Elston was a PC with Humberside Police based in Grimsby when the alleged offence took place between February 2019 and September 2020. She was charged with misconduct in public office in February. Ms Elston appeared before Leeds Magistrates and her case will next be heard at Leeds Crown Court on the 29th of March. She was released on unconditional bail. The investigation was carried out by Humberside Police under the guidance of the IOPC. It referred the case to the Crown Prosecution Service which determined Ms Elston should be charged. She is alleged to have passed information and intelligence from a police briefing during the course of her duties. On the 2nd of February, we spoke about retired Metropolitan Police Constable 56-year-old Stephen Kikieri, 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 Stephen, who had appeared in court charged with rape, attempted rape and indecent assault, which occurred more than 14 years ago. At the time of the crimes that he's been charged with, he was attached to Hammersmith and Fulham Police. But PC Stephen, ex-PC Stephen, retired in March 2021. It was said that the allegations were investigated at the time, but the case was recently reopened. Although I haven't been able to find out why just yet, so I'm presuming somebody else has come forward. XPC Stephen Kerry Kerry XPC Stephen appeared at the Old Bailey this week, where he gave a not guilty plea to the three charges, which happened between the first 11th of April and 14th of April 2014. He was granted unconditional bail ahead of a further pre-trial hearing on May the 16th. 
An unnamed Devon and Cornwall police constable faced a gross misconduct hearing last month over an allegation of using racist language towards a colleague. Yes, I appreciate this is a late report, but this, as I've said before, sometimes forces don't update their misconduct outcome pages for weeks. Devon and Cornwall police say that it had been alleged that on 29th of May 2020, in the presence of a number of colleagues within a police station, the officer used racist and discriminatory language. An officer of colour was present and the offensive language was in part directed towards them. The three-day hearing held in Exeter found that the officer's behaviour had fallen below the expected standards of professional behaviour in respect of equality and diversity, authority, respect and courtesy and discreditable conduct. It was determined that the officer would be dismissed without notice. The officer's details will be submitted to the College of Policing's barred list, preventing him from working within police. A spokesperson for Devon and Cornwall Police said it was today made aware of the officer's intention to appeal the decision of the panel. The appeal will be held by the Police and Crime Commissioner. The panel concluded that the decision was reached in large part because of the critical need to uphold public confidence in Devon and Cornwall Police and that dismissal was required in order to underline that racist language and behaviour will not be tolerated if you get caught. In other words, they have to look like they're not discriminatory at all because of all the racism allegations that's come out recently. Now, we couldn't go a single day without hearing about several Mr Tickles in the police force. This time it's Scots Cop Temporary Assistant Chief Constable Pat Campbell, who headed up Police Scotland's organised crime and counter-terrorism unit. Certainly sounds like he's been doing some terrorising of his own. Campbell was suspended from the force in December last year after a probe by the Police Investigations and Review Commissioner was launched to examine the circumstances of an incident which is alleged to have taken place at a conference in Edinburgh. His suspension was authorised by the Scottish Police Authority on December 1st after a criminal allegation was brought to light. The PIRC has now finished its investigation and has submitted its findings to the Crown Office for their consideration on a decision on whether to prosecute Temporary Assistant Chief Constable Campbell. This decision will be made by the Crown's criminal allegations against the Police Division. A spokesman said the COPFS has received a report from the Police Investigations and Review Commissioner and it is under consideration by the Crown's criminal allegations against the Police Division. A statement from Deputy Chief Constable Fiona Taylor issued on Wednesday added, I can confirm that a senior officer from Police Scotland has been suspended by the Scottish Police Authority. This was in connection with a criminal investigation being carried out by the Police Investigations and Review Commissioner and we are unable to comment further. A police officer will face a misconduct hearing next week after she was convicted of drink driving. Cleveland Police Officer Jodie Smith, 25, appeared at Teesside's Magistrates Court on January 25th charged with a drink driving on January 10th at Stockton. The charge reads, on the 10th of the 1st, 2022, at Stockton, drove a motor vehicle, namely a Renault Clio, on a road, namely Darlington Road, after consuming so much alcohol that the proportion of it in your breath, namely 75 micrograms of alcohol in 100 millilitres of breath, exceeded the prescribed limit. The legal limit is 35 milligrams. Smith of Hartburn Village, Stockton, was found guilty of the offence. She will now face a police disciplinary hearing on Wednesday, March the 9th at Scottswood House, Thornaby, for discreditable conduct. On the Cleveland Police website, it states the above conduct breached the standards of professional behaviour relating to discreditable conduct and amounts to gross misconduct. A serving police officer has appeared in court after being charged with common assault. The case comes after an incident in Cheadle Road, Blythe Bridge, on the 5th of October. Staffordshire Police said PC Colin James Gay, who works in its Forces Operations Department, appeared at Birmingham Magistrates Court on Thursday. The 49-year-old has been given unconditional bail and told his next appearance will be the 1st of April. I have not found any further information on this particular incident, but I will keep an eye out and bring you any info as it becomes available. Huge thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as no many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.